Providing safe, reliable drinking water to a community is one of the most essential services a public utility undertakes. And it isn't cheap. It requires significant investment and ongoing costs to ensure clean, safe drinking water flows when customers turn on the tap. But often, when it comes to setting the price for water service, there is a reluctance to raise rates, which is often necessary to recover the costs and expenses associated with providing this service. Over the long term, does this approach actually hinder a water system's ability to carry out its core mission of providing safe drinking water at a reasonable price? Let's talk about full cost pricing and how it can help create a better future for your system and for your customers. Full cost pricing is a direct application of the calculated cost of service to the development of rates, fees, charges, and other revenue mechanisms associated with providing that service. The goal of full cost pricing is a revenue stream that adequately covers ongoing operation and maintenance requirements and provides capital for reinvestment in the system, including for debt service. Sounds pretty simple. So let's look at all the areas you need to consider to get the full price cost. The main funding buckets a system needs are operation and maintenance, or O&M, reserves, and capital costs. O&M includes most of the obvious costs of providing water. You can see the treatment facilities, water towers, and workers around the community. O&M also includes administrative and billing costs, which are also typically front-facing aspects of a system. Having a dedicated staff to handle customer service and manage the system, regardless of size, is understood to be necessary and directly impact customer feeds. Reserves are essential for the long-term health of a water system. Having some money in the bank makes it easier for systems to handle unforeseen emergencies. Reserves can also help systems cover the cost of repairs and, and manage times when revenues are not as high as expected. And the last category is capital costs. These are the big purchases that need to be made on a reliably scheduled basis. It's very common to spread out this sizable cost over time by either saving in advance to pay for an asset or by borrowing money and paying it back over time. There are several accounting principles, like depreciation, debt service, and rate-funded capital that help a system understand what this cost needs to be. For the average customer, this can get complicated very quickly. They just need to understand that covering the cost of replacing assets is crucial to the long-term reliability and health of a water system. How you set your rates will vary depending on your unique organizational structure and local policies. But remember, when it comes to the pricing of water services, rates should accurately reflect the true costs of providing safe and reliable water to consumers today and into the future. That includes maintaining the entire water system while planning for upcoming repairs, rehabilitation, and replacement of assets, and hopefully minimizing any crises that come with decaying infrastructure. Transparency in budgeting and educating the customer are two powerful ways a public water system can foster a sense of trust and a willingness to see water as the invaluable commodity that it is. To find out more about full cost pricing, and other smart financial tools for today's public water systems, visit efcnetwork.org.